Hey guys, we're gonna keep going on warehouse uh, management. Uh, sorry about the last video. The attachment in the end uh, was a previous screen share, so that's been fixed today. Um, so you can rewatch it and see it for real. Um, but what we're gonna do right now is go into bin rankings. So let's say, for example, we have the warehouse. Again, I'm drawing the same picture over and over again uh, with the receiving and the shipping bay. Uh, and then we have, I'm just going to talk about the fixed storage bins. Uh, and that's uh, storage, oops, storage one, storage two, and I'm going to add storage three. Now, when we fix them, we're basically saying which item goes into what storage bin or uh, which, which item goes to the each bin. And that's what it means to be fixed. Um, but I'm going to have both two and three have item 10,001. I'm sorry, 1,001. So both of them are fixed for the same item. So basically, uh, we can put 1,001 into storage three or storage two. We keep them in two places, right? And I'd prefer them to be into one of them than the other. So here is the concept of bin ranking. So we can rank the bins uh, I can say that storage three has a rank of two and storage one has a rank of one. And the bin with the higher ranking wins. So we're gonna first put away into the bin with the higher ranking and then go downwards. So the system will suggest to, to uh, put away into storage three. So put away into storage three. Now, of course, there's a caveat here. If it's gonna to suggest to go into storage three, why have a ranking and why even have them two here? Because everything will go into storage three. Nothing will go into storage two. So it boils down to, it's not enough just to talk about rankings. We have to talk about also capacity of the bin. So we'll leave that for the next video. But right now we're just gonna set the bin ranking. So let's see how that works, at least in setup and put away. Okay, so let's take a look at the bin ranking. If I go into locations and take a look at my bins again in the north location. Uh, let me see my... Let's just get into the location. Location bins, that's easier. <laughs> okay, so what I've done is I created one more bin, storage bin. So I have storage rack three. Now I showed a field here, which you have to go through um, all the way up here into personalize and add field. Uh, and you can drop this field in here, something called the bin ranking. So if we uh, take a look at uh, storage rack two and I go into the contents, I set that up to be a fixed one for item uh, 1001, which is the Inecta coffee mug. Uh, but the bin ranking is two. So this is a fixed for this item. Now I also have rack three, which is in a different location. Oops. Uh, and the bin contents for that is the same, same coffee mug. So we store the coffee mug in two different racks. However, I prefer to put it in storage rack three first and then storage rack two. So, uh, and, <laughs> And we really need to put in more parameters and I'll do that in the next video to make this make sense because in this case, everything is of course gonna go into storage three. Um, but I just wanna make a point on the bin ranking and then I'll move forward. So if I go ahead and create a purchase order for the Inacta coffee mug, uh, it's going to choose the storage three uh, first, because it's ranked uh, lower or before than the uh, the number two. So let's just go ahead and verify that. I create a purchase order for um, the Inacta coffee mug for 50. I go ahead and release this and uh, then just actions warehouse create receipt. And the receipt header is created. Uh, then I go ahead and post 
that, which should create the put away. And it is there. So now we go ahead and navigate to the warehouse put aways right here and take a look at the put away and you can see that it's being put into storage two. Um, and uh, let me see. Oh, I, I might be reversed the way that it's done. So if I go into locations and just refresh which one is what, go into the north location uh, and into the bins. Uh, it wants to put it into two. Oh, it's just a higher bin ranking. So the higher number wins. If it's ranked higher, it wants to put it into that. Uh, and then <clears throat> the lower one uh, comes later. So let's say if we switch this, just for argument's sake, let's say now this is three, and that's two. Uh, and let's go ahead and just run through this process again. So it should do the other storage bin now. So let's go purchase order. You guys have seen me do a lot of purchase orders through this. So um, hopefully a bit quick on that. So let me go ahead and pick the coffee mug. North. Let's do 10 this case around actions function. Oops. Release, release. And then we go into action function, create warehouse receipt. That's created. And go ahead and post this. And then we get the put away. It'd be nice if the put away came up, but that's not very useful for actual life environment. So warehouse put away. And now we can see that the new put away is putting it into three, which is what we wanted because we changed it to have a higher ranking. So the higher ranking wins. Um, and so you can steer it by rank, ranking the, uh, the bins. Now, this doesn't make any sense uh, if because it's always going to go the one that's higher ranked. So it doesn't make any sense to have another one, right? Unless you have maximum capacity. So that we'll explore next time.